Hi guys, Rob from Rob's Model Cars and welcome back to the channel. Well today you join me for part two of how to build the Pocha or Pocha uh, 1.8 scale Lamborghini Aventador Roadster. So today's video we're going to do an unboxing of this kit. So there's a lot of parts, they're all large because it is a large scale model. So let's have a look and unbox this kit. Okay, so let's unbox this kit. Okay, so that's the lid off. Now first thing we see, we've got a instruction booklet. Uh, and this is quite a detailed booklet uh, with all the assembly uh, stages in it. As you can see, it's quite detailed. Uh, just over 800 parts in this kit. Now, if we open up the first part, we've got another package here. Now, this has all the, uh, the decals and uh, lenses for the lights. Uh, it looks like some floor mats as well. So yeah, a few more bits and pieces in there. Now the fun begins. Let's move that. Okay. So it looks like a windscreen frame there to me. Uh, and some other bits and pieces in that one. These kits are pre-painted so I can see here they're wrapped in tissue paper but these are the side skirts for the model. They're in white. Another pre-painted part. Uh, looks like a front splitter um, and some cooling flaps I think for that one. And another pre-painted part as well, so it uh, looks like we've got the rear bumper bar, rear wing. Uh, these are all pre-painted, so they're wrapped in tissue paper to protect them. Packed quite well. There we have the front window. So you can actually see the size of this model, that's just the front window. That's nearly as big as a 118 scale car. So quite large. We've got some clear sprues here, so you can see these are the uh, engine lid windows. Uh, what else have we got in there? We've got some quarter glass windows. I think we've got some headlight lenses as well. Uh, these are some coloured parts, so we've got the red and orange, so we've got the tail lights. Yeah, so tons of parts. Another clear piece, a few little pieces there, I think rear window, another layer of bubble wrap. Now all the engine is cast in uh, a grey, silvery grey sort of colour, uh, so this is obviously a gearbox and some parts there. We've got brake rotors. So obviously two parts to each one. Here's a big piece. We've got a dashboard or two dashboards. You can actually build this model in right hand drive or left hand drive. Steering wheel, centre console. That's pretty cool. Here we've got some seats. I've opened this already just to give you a a size of the seat, so check the size of that out compared to a 118 scale car. So we've got a couple of seats in there. Another small little piece. Um, we've got some brake calipers on that side, I think, and some chrome parts as well. We've got an exhaust tip as well. Some more engine parts, I believe. In grey, we have some radiators as well. Really looking forward to putting this uh, this model together. I think these are some inner door trims as well. Uh, rear bulkhead cover, I think, for the interior. We have some more engine parts here. We've got some pulleys and belts. Uh, some air boxes, I believe, here. And a metal part, that must be something for the hinge pieces. 
uh, more silver part so we can see a, a differential here maybe a front differential with drive shafts uh, transfer case here detail looks pretty good on all these parts what else we've got some seat backs here what I showed you before was the rubberized front section these are hard plastic these ones so these are the back of the seats these are obviously the uh, the wheel wells for the model quite large when you compare these pieces to a 118th scale car got some more little trim pieces I think these are window surround pieces again some more trim pieces uh, not sure what all of those are oh we've got some windscreen wipers uh, look at the size of those things there as long as my finger and we've got some more engine parts maybe that's the side of the engine block there some more engine parts these look like the cylinder heads and we've got some front casings some cam covers so yeah this engine is going to be huge what have we got here we've got the exhaust system here so we've got the giant big factory muffler and we've got the headers catalytic converters here as well it's pretty cool now tires I had to get these out to measure some sizes for some decals but uh, look at the size of these tires absolutely huge they're the front ones and the back ones are even bigger check out the size of these things absolutely huge this model is going to be massive some more black parts uh, we've got the Lamborghini engine cover here which is pretty cool uh, and I think these are the top of the cylinder heads with some plug hole covers in there more pieces on here I think we've got a X brace for the engine and I think we've got some uh, sway bars actually and a few other bits and pieces the parts keep coming uh, we've got some bumper trim pieces these black front and rear uh, a few other bits on there I think they're air box or air scoops Uh, we've got a rubber part which is uh, rubber hoses for the engine bay so these are some wrapped or engine looms uh, they'll go on the engine bay I think those pieces uh, we've got the floor so this is the, the whole floor of the interior you can see the size of that pretty big what else have we got here we've got another piece here now this is the roadster but I think you get one of these pieces anyway so this is actually the roof lining for the coupe um, but it's on the same piece as the rear diffuser here so uh, that we do not need in this particular kit uh, we've got some other pieces here I think these are the target top inner trim linings and a couple of other pieces on there leaving the good stuff to last for you guys uh, this is the engine cover this is the inner trim piece quite large and we've got some headlight buckets I think these look like headlight buckets to me we've got those on there this is the floor now I'll hold this away so you can see how this is my hand on it so you can see how big this model is it's going to be absolutely huge uh, so this is the floor piece yep that's massive and we've got a bag of metal parts here so we've actually got some suspension or coilover springs in this bag we've got a potcher nameplate uh, and all the screws there's some other metal parts in there but I don't know what they're there they're uh, for at this stage so we've got that Uh, another little bag here it looks like tie rod ends or maybe that's um, some parts for the doors not quite sure we've got another big big uh, board a big rack of uh, metal parts so obviously these are all the suspension a arms 
uh, and we've got metal brake calipers and wheel carriers here and I think these are the um, the insides of the shock absorbers as well so all that's out of metal so that's quite impressive and I've left the good one for last so I had to open this and have a look these are the beautiful Dion forged wheels for the model these are finished in gloss black so I don't have to repaint these for how I'm going to build this model uh, but you can see the size of these wheels I mean a normal 1 18th scale 20 inch wheel measures around 30 millimeters uh, these are bigger than 60 millimeters so twice as high as a 1 18th scale wheel so uh, absolutely massive these models okay so the next box down is the foam box now this has all the bodywork pieces in it uh, first you can see here we've got a photo etch piece uh, for all your front and rear grills uh, and I think we've got the target tops for this roads diversion uh, in the top of the box as well. Now this is where it really shows the size. Uh, let's start with the front first. So as I say, all these pieces are pre-painted, uh, although I am going to repaint this model anyway. Uh, but this is the whole front section of the model. Now look at the size of that. Um, I'm not sure whether you can see, yeah you can in the camera. Uh, this piece is as wide as a 1 18th scale model is long. So these are absolutely massive. Uh, it is a nice finish, this is a, a, a satin metallic white or pearl white. Um, so yeah, that is the uh, front section. And these are all individually wrapped up. Uh, we've got a front hood there is pretty huge as well. We've got the pre-painted body section. So look at the size of this piece. So this is the uh, the main shell with the windscreen frame. Absolutely massive. So this is pre-painted gloss black. Uh, all the coloured panels go on it. So this whole piece is matte black. And we have a huge engine cover as well. Absolutely massive piece in itself. Okay, just trying to get this back in order so I don't mix it up. But here is another huge part. This is the whole rear section. Absolutely huge. As I say, when you look at the width of this 1.8 scale model, it's as long as a 1.18 scale Lamborghini model, so pretty crazy the size of these things. Uh, we've got the doors in there as well, and a few other parts as well. So we've got a just an engine subframe in here, which is just all metal, which is black. Another little subframe section. I'll leave this wrapped up so I don't scratch it. I'd say that's for the engine compartment, maybe the front of the car actually. And yeah, we've got another piece here which is probably the interior or the footwell where the pedals go, I would say. So that's all metal as well. There's a few other bits and pieces inside this box. Uh, I won't pull them all out, but that's the majority of all the pieces. Uh, what really gets me is the actual scale of these models. They're absolutely massive. So that is pretty much the unboxing of the Pocha or Pocha uh, 1.8 scale Lamborghini Aventador Roadster. Uh, the next video, part three, we're going to start uh, construction of this model kit. So uh, stay tuned for that one. I know you guys have been hanging out for this video uh, and for the next one actually to start building this kit. Uh, and we'll try and get that done for you as soon as possible. So uh, that's it for today's video. Uh, part two of how to build the Pocha Pocha 1.8 scale Lamborghini Aventador Roadster. Uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, uh, and don't forget to follow me on social media as well. Uh, Facebook, Rob's Model Cars. Instagram, Rob's Model Cars. So there you go, there's something.
they just sort of hold together. So that gives you an idea of how big, uh, and this kit is also going to be quite heavy as well because there's so many metal parts. So that's it, stay tuned for part three of this video, uh, and until next time, thanks for watching Rob's Model Cars.